Good morning. Um, today was a little bit of a different day for us. Um, Andrew's shift was a little bit different today and he went into work at six in the morning. Um, but we did wake up at 4.30, did our gratitudes, our affirmations. It's a little bit difficult because we were both feeling really tired. We've been going to bed way too late. Um, well, there's a lot of things that we've been uh, needing to get done. Um, so anyway, um, I helped Andrew get ready for work and then I went back to sleep um, around six in the morning and I woke up at nine. I got out of bed at nine, which was really nice. I kind of wanted the extra rest. Um, today is actually my th third day of doing the nine day fasting and I'm actually doing a 24 hour dry fast right now. I'm aiming for 48 hours, but we shall see how that goes because, um, because I will be doing an exercise a little later on today and I'm not sure how that will affect me. Last night was really interesting actually. I woke up around three in the morning, well this morning actually. Um, I woke up around three in the morning and I was having this weird dream about like s s swallowing or s something like that. It was very strange and I felt like I was in Egypt or something like that. And then I was waking up because I realized I wasn't really able to swallow so well. Um, and then it felt like I just had phlegm stuck right here in my throat, just like, just, you know, stuck. So I was working on coughing it up this morning and it, some of it was coming out, some of it wasn't. <clears throat> My throat feels still a little funny, um, but I don't know. I, I'm not really worried about this at all because I know I've had a lot of like throat, ear, like stuff in my life. When I was really little, I believe I got the uh, mumps, um, and I got this huge growth on my neck, and I couldn't swallow. And um, I remember, I think I, I believe I took antibiotics for that. Um, I just remember I couldn't swallow anything. I couldn't even swallow my saliva. Like I was like, cause it just hurts so badly, so badly. Um, and I'm, what I'm thinking is that this, you know, fast is bringing a lot of this up and cleaning a lot of things out. Um, so I'm excited that it's happening actually because that means on the other side of it, you know, what's gonna happen? Like, am I gonna not have like sore throats anymore or constantly have phlegm when I wake up in the morning? Lately, every morning, it's like we do our, we do our exercise, and I'm just going <laughs> and spitting out, and you know, still like a, there's still a lot of phlegm in me. It's, it's insane after fasting for 108 days, you know. And um, anyway, so I've been doing that, and also, um, yes, the day before yesterday, I was working on doing some enemas instead of the Kalima board, and that was so difficult for whatever reason. It was like I couldn't hold any water in. I barely, I think I got maybe a gallon of water in me, and it was just so difficult. So uh, yesterday I ended up doing the Kalima board. Um, Andrew and I are being very thorough about cleaning it really, really well after each person uses it, because I know you're not really supposed to share the Kalima board. We obviously changed the tip, like we changed the tip for sure, because um, that's like, you know, we don't share the same tip at all. Um, cause obviously he has certain bacteria and I have certain bacteria and we don't really want to cross contaminate that. Um, but we make sure we clean the board really, really well. We use, you know, hydrogen peroxide. We have Clorox that we use. We also have like a natural spray that we use that's supposed to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So I'm hoping that's enough. I mean, you know, it's not like, I think the tip is really the most important part. You know, you don't want, you know, someone else's tip to be going inside of you. So. I don't know. We'll see if I put, put that part on. But anyway, I did the Kalima yesterday and I had a lot of releases. It was really great. I didn't quite, I was in New York City, I was doing about five gallons. Here I was doing four gallons. And yesterday I did about three and a half gallons, I think, of water. Um, but I still had really good releases, which was great. And this morning, actually, when this whole phlegm thing was happening, I had a release naturally. Um, just came out, which is great. Um, so I still feel like things are really cleaning out and I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Um, I did struggle though with the 18 days of eating food. Um, because I think like, honestly for me, I really see the benefits of this fast, but 
I'm not ready to let go of rice and beans yet and um, plant-based dishes really not not talking about dairy I'm not talking about meat like I've let that go a long time ago but I'm not I'm just not ready to let go of that and and that's one of the things that I'm struggling with actually um, I'm very hard on myself actually and um, that's been a bit of a struggle for me because you know I see a lot of people get really good results from this master fast and they continuously fast and while they keep reaping the benefits of it and have like a very clean body very healthy you know very level emotionally I I don't know I'm just I'm not there yet and I'm working on showing way more compassion towards myself because you know I've always I always want to be perfect and really accomplish things and do it right and um, it's just difficult for me because you know I, I hear what a lot of people say like there's all these different opinions and it's so conflicting and it's so confusing at times and I just want to do the experiment myself, experiment myself and see how my body reacts to it and you know maybe it'll cause me some pain or maybe I'll get a lot more mucus or whatever that, that may be but eventually I do want to include some beans and rice into my life. I mean for me I'm just not ready to let that go and I want to be okay with that with myself and I know you know the master fat system they don't recommend that at all and I know that um, but I really do I want to continue this you know divine cycle my goal is to do it till uh, August um, so I obviously won't be eating any grains or legumes or anything like that anytime soon but you know I'm wanting to try eventually you know in the fall um, but we'll see, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the future brings and I don't know how that will make me feel or if my views will change, but just right now it's like, it's difficult for me to let that go. And that's what I'm struggling with and that's the truth for me right now. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna continue, I am continuing to do the Divine Nine Cycle um, and we'll just see how that, how that goes, how I feel. I mean, having this come out is really wonderful and that's also exciting for me, you know, and I'm really proud of myself and also Andrew's doing really well on his fast right now. It's really wonderful. Just, sometimes it's difficult to hear what people say, you know, um, <laughs> say things that you know they just want to say things you know some people say that some people have said that oh you're too skinny now or you know some people have said that Andrew looks like a cancer patient and luckily I mean I'm working on taking things not taking things personally that's something that I've struggled with pretty much my whole life <laughs> but um, Andrew's really good at not taking things personally and you know, he really believes in himself and he knows what he's doing right now is what he's doing right now. And that might not, that's probably not going to be the rest of his life. And, you know, yeah, he might get really thin. He's already lost quite a bit of weight um, for the size that he is. But, you know, that's, that's what his body needs to do. His body needs that right now. And, you know, I fully support him. So. <sighs> really amazing that my body's able to clean itself up. Um, I did pretty, I think I thought, I thought I did pretty well in the 18 days. There was a few things that um, might not have been the best for me to do. Um, like the coconut aminos probably wasn't the best thing to eat, but 
I was just really struggling at that point, you know, and really wanting to eat other things. And so I was really happy to have the fast come up. Um, I also did, I did make a pesto um, with some olive oil. It wasn't that much. It was, um, you know, like two tablespoons, I think, of olive oil with some basil and green onion. And I used a, a little bit of pumpkin seeds, a little bit of har hemp hearts, <coughs> and <coughs> apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, and a little bit of salt. And I did try a little bit of that, which I know wasn't probably the best thing for me to try, which maybe has to do with this phlegm thing that I'm having. Maybe not, like maybe it's just like what needs to happen to begin with, but. <coughs> um, anyway, I tried it and it was really, really good. <laughs> it was so good. And that was also kind of, it was, I believe, the, the day before I started my fast. So luckily, you know, I, I was starting the fast the next day because I think that if I hadn't been, I would definitely eaten some more. Um, I had a, probably like a, a teaspoon of it because I was like licking the container. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, but, you know, I... I also have to show compassion for myself. You know, I'm not, I'm not perfect. This is an experience for me. I'm learning as I go along. You know, this is not. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is not something I've ever done before. Um, this is not something I've ever done before. I'm really working to figure this all out and see how food what what kinds of food play out in my life how I actually feel about them and you know I really want to I want to exercise too, increase my exercise and do it correctly that's one of the things that I've been focusing on lately um, because there's so many people who do exercise like for example there's this whole CrossFit movement while I think it's really amazing people are moving their bodies there's so many people also who do this CrossFit who don't necessarily use the correct form. And that's really important for me because I actually worked in a chiropractic office for um, I think almost two years at one point in my life. And I did learn a lot about the body, the spine, your muscles, um, things like that. Like I, I really learned a lot and I really enjoyed that time there and my experience there. Um, <clears throat> my experience there, but I also saw a lot of people who came in and they injured themselves and um, they didn't do the correct form when they were exercising and you know that that takes a toll in the body and you end up using muscles that you didn't uh, that you didn't want to use or weren't the muscles you were targeting and that's something that's really important to me and I think also growing up my mom always stressed the importance of your correct form you know I I took ballet and with ballet there's a correct form you know correct point you know, there's, it's very regimented. Um, you know, there's the way you plie, you know, you don't plie, have your feet turned out all the way and your knees like, you know, like, I can't explain it. <laughs> but you know what I mean, like you have to, they're supposed to be like, when you plie, your knees are supposed to be over the middle toe and you know, there, it's just like there's a form and a very good structure and it's important, you know, because I'm saying you know a lot, and I think that I'm replacing um with you know, which I'm just making a note of that now. Uh, so yeah, we'll maybe edit some of those out or not. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I so anyway, I am very interested in learning about more about the body. I am still in the middle of the book Paleo Fantasy, but I did buy another book because I've been following this woman on. Instagram and I feel like she has a lot of informative helpful tips very focused on your form very focused on uh, creating your best body your best physique but without injuring yourself without doing everything incorrectly and she takes the time to explain everything and I really 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 like that about her um, so I bought her book um, it's called the uh, Shona the if I Shona virtue it's called the Shona virtue method and so far, I'm really, really loving what she's saying. Um, it makes a lot of sense to me. And she also includes, um, she includes meditation in here and 
it's just really wonderful because it's it's the whole body she focuses on the mind the physical everything you know and um, that's important to me that's really important to me and that's what I've been working on for at least I mean since I graduated from college in 2010 for sure I've been working on this to better myself to feel better to have more energy to love my body I've never ever loved my body as much as I love it now I mean it helps that I'm saying affirmations as well you know, I'm working on the Louise Hay affirmations when I'm having a difficult time with myself I say the one that she recommends the most to say I love and approve of myself I love and approve of myself I love and approve of myself and just continuously repeating it repeating it repeating it because a lot of the times I have judged myself um, I've judged myself and have said really mean things, you know, like, uh, just horrible things to myself. Why was I born? I wish I was never born. I hate my body. What's wrong with me? Why am I so tired? I don't care. Let's go drinking. You know, there's so many things that I never really worked through in my life. And since doing the fast, like, since I, I believe I started October 13th or 14th, um, let me see, I think, no, it's in my other thing, um, I, my other calendar, I started, I believe, on the October 13th or 14th, and I feel like I've worked so hard on myself, but not, I did a lot of smart work, not like, oh, I'm working so hard, I'm working so hard, no, I read some books that really have helped me, they inspired me, and, you know, Andrew's doing a few things that we're incorporating into our lives, and, I feel a lot better. I mean, I have my moments still, but they're far less and, f and fewer. So, anyway, I'm really focusing on this, and on my body and my fitness, because that's important to me. I've never really had a fitness routine, and I really want to incorporate that into my life and feel good and move my body. Like, I, I've always wanted to be able to do handstands and walk on my hands, and yeah, you know, I can be practicing them and I'm not really practicing them, which obviously is not helping the situation, but I also have a lot of fear about things like that. I have a lot of fear about falling, about injuring myself. Um, yesterday we were doing, Andrew and I were doing an exercise and there was this, um, there was an exercise where you jump over a bench and the bench was a little bit wider and I was really scared to jump over the bench and I know that might sound really silly for you but for me it was really scary and I cried a lot yesterday uh, because I get so hard on myself because it's like why can't I do this what's wrong with me and I really have to I'm really working on showing more compassion towards myself because nothing's wrong with me I've just never done this before you know Andrew on the other hand, has done all these exercises before, so they're a little bit easier for him. He has a lot of other struggles that I don't have. You know, we have very different struggles, but um, it's just difficult for me when Andrew's just like, oh yeah, sure, I can do that, and he just does it. You know, he believes in himself, and he is not scared. He just does it, and he's like, oh, well, the worst thing that's happened is I hurt myself, and that's okay because I know that I'll heal. And... I guess for me, I don't know, it's just like I have this fear of injuring myself and I'm really working past that. I know it's like, you know, I'm crying here, it's kind of ridiculous, but um, it's just something that I guess is ingrained in me since when I was younger. Um, my sister and I didn't really play sports growing up um, because we were in music. Uh, and um, my parents were concerned, especially my mother, she was concerned about our hands and our wrists and things like that. She didn't want us to break anything because I play the flute, that's my instrument. My sister played the piano and violin and she sang. But you know, if you hurt your finger playing basketball, if you, you know, sprain it or something, that means you can't play the flute anymore. And that was really important for my mom. That was a big part of our life. That was a big part of my life, my sister's life. We went to school on Saturdays from eight in the morning till 5.30 at night. It was a really, really long day for us, and you know, if we had been in sports as, in addition, we could have hurt ourselves, and that could have made, you know, that that's healing time, where we wouldn't have been able to play. So we didn't really play sports growing up. So I've never really had 
those kind of movements or things incorporate into my life. Um, we did dance, but it's different. Dancing is a little different. I'm not saying that that's not, that not a form of exercise. Of course it's a form of exercise, and that's a wonderful form of exercise. And I love to dance, and I, I love ballet, but it's not quite the same as playing sports like what Andrew did. He would just jump around and climb trees. We didn't really climb that many trees. You know, uh, growing up in New York City, when we were little, I would, I would climb trees in Central Park, but then, you know, they'd say, oh, don't climb the trees in Central Park, and blah, blah, blah. It was, it was just like this whole thing. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't really, I wasn't really quite as active as Andrew was growing up. So sometimes I feel frustrated because I feel like I can't keep up with him. And that was really frustrating for me, especially when we would run together. Like for a while, we were running together, and I was so much slower than him and I know like he's been running for his entire life like his entire life he's been running long distances so of course he's much better than me of course you know his he's also taller he has longer legs so of course it's gonna be faster but for me that's so difficult because I always like to be the best like or I want to do my best and be really good you know <sighs> excuse me Um, so anyway, that has, this has been a challenge for me for sure, and I'm working on showing myself way more compassion. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. This is a pretty long video. Uh, but anyway, I'm really work I'm really excited about this book and I also am excited I signed up for Doc Fit Jen, I believe is what she goes by. Her mobility method cuz she also talks about the correct form to do things. And I I'm really enjoying that and that's why I also a few years ago, I believe it was in 2000 either 13 or 14. I think it was 2014. I in March of 2014, I went with my boyfriend at the time to Dr. Sam, Dr. Sam Mural, I mess up his name every time, it's a Polish last name, um, but Dr. Sam, um, I went to his, we went to his retreat in Costa Rica, and I really loved what he had to say because he talked about moving correctly, doing the correct, the correct posture for your squats and things like that, and yeah, that stuck with me a lot, and I use that though as a crutch to not do things um, because I worry so much about my form. So I need to find a balance here and that's what I'm working on. Um, so anyway, that's gonna be it I think for today until now. I'm gonna go sit outside because it's beautiful. I am wearing literally like a sports bra and a pair of pants and I'm feeling pretty hot actually. It's really, really wonderful outside. I think it's supposed to go down in temperature to like the 30s again in a few days. But I am I am planning on enjoying this wonderful weather we have and sit outside on our deck in the sun and read this book because I'm excited too and I can't wait to learn. So that's it for now. If there's anything else that's interesting that happens later on, I'll definitely keep you posted and let you know. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can always subscribe to our channel to see whenever we post new videos. And um, if you have any questions or any comments or, you know, if, if there's any of this resonates with you, like are you showing compassion to yourself, please let me know. I would love to know what struggles you're going through right now. And maybe we can support each other and help each other through this and pick each other up and be kind and show love towards each other. So please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sun. Bye.